Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2018 Nissan Navara. It's a 2.3 DCI 190 brake horsepower Tecna Auto. It's done 100,000 miles and it's got full service history with four stamps in the book and MOT till March 2023. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular, mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here today with me in person. As we go around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, scratches or dints. We'll look at the wheels and the tyres. We'll have a look in the back. Then we'll have a look inside the vehicle, looking at the seats and the functionality. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. Uh, when we've done that, we'll pop the bonnet, have a look at the engine. And finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis and, of course, the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere that you need it to get to. If you're looking to finance a vehicle, we'll go through an application with you, which takes about five minutes. We will ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT because obviously it is a VAT applicable vehicle. Application, as I say, takes five minutes. We can usually get a decision within an hour. Um, it's also worth mentioning that once you've watched the video, if you think I've missed something, or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask. It's not a problem. There's nothing to hide, and I'd rather show it you before you leave the comfort of your own home. Right, so let's start with the bonnet, and then we can work our way around from there. Um, what I will say to you instantly is, obviously it's 2018, it's done 100,000 miles. But it's obviously done that in quite a short space of time and whoever's had it has really looked after it because it's actually in really nice clean condition and it's wearing the mileage really well so the bonnet's in great condition um, hopefully you can see that from the image um, there's no obvious nasty marks or dints now obviously it's been on british roads there's going to be stone chips it's just part and parcel of what it is um, what I will say is that the stone chips that are there, you can hardly see them. So, for instance, there's a little tiny one on the metal there. Actually on the bonnet, the few and far between. There's one there. That's probably the worst one, just there. And I've just noticed there's a tiny little dent just there. And if you can see that or not, is minute it's not showing up right so um driver side headlight and front bumper again there's a couple of little tiny marks but nothing serious and a couple of tiny stone chips headlights in great condition as is the grill and obviously there are a few little stone chips but again nothing serious passenger side headlights in nice clean condition as is the bumper Passenger side front wing is in nice clean condition as you can see. And there's no nasty marks or dents, being really critical. There's a light, tiny little mark there. And there's another one just there, but nothing really. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so uh, passenger side front wheel and tyre. Wheels in good condition. It's a Xeon 4XS tyre. Um, I'd say there's probably 10 mil under the arch. You can see everything's nice and clean. So windscreen, there's a couple of little tiny chips, but they're not uh, serious enough to have an implement on the MOT. Again, just little tiny stone chips. They're not actually all the way through. Other than that, there's nothing really. So pillars, passenger side. Nice and clean, free from damage. Passenger mirror back's nice and clean, there's no damage. As is the mirror. Passenger side of the roof, as you can see, it's really very clean, no damage, no dents, everything's spot on. So before I go down the passenger side, I always like to have a quick look at this view. You can see then there's no misalignment of panels and all the gaps are spot on. You can see that the paint is clean and it's correct across all the panels, so there's obviously been no paint on it. And I like to look down the side, and this will give you as a decent indication if there's any dints or any awkward marks on the panels. And as you can see, it's in fantastic condition. 
everything looks nice and clean. Side steps are in great condition as well. And again, from this side, there's nothing that I can see that makes anything stick out. So the panels are in fantastic condition. Onto the rear quarter. And again, it's in lovely condition. Everything looks good. There are a few very, very, and I mean very, very fine. I don't even think it's going to show up. There's a fine scratch just there. It's like it's rubbed against a bush. Nothing serious. Passenger side rear wheel and tyre. It's a matching Xeon 4X tyre. Wheels in great condition. Matching tread depth. Under this side, everything looks good. Chassis in great condition, as you can see. Obviously, what we can see from there. We'll look at that a little bit closer later on. Passenger side rear tail lights in nice clean condition. There's no damage, there's no cracks, there's no misting. Everything looks great. Rear bumper is in nice clean condition. You'll notice that it's got parking sensors um, and also it's got a reversing camera. Obviously it's got the 360 camera, which I'll show you working when we get inside. It's got a tow bar with a 13 pin electrics. So look at the tailgate. And again, it's in nice clean condition and it appears to be free from any damage or dents. Everything looks nice and clean. Being really, I mean, properly critical as well. Um, there's a very fine mark there, which suggests to me that at some point, in fact, I would say it's definitely had a canopy on the back of it, as you can see from the fade in there a little bit. So yeah, it's, they've usually got a lid that sits here that goes over that edge and it's just caught it slightly, as you can see. Not damaged it as such, but it's just left a little mark, a rub mark. But nice and clean. So in the back, it's um, exceptionally clean, let's say. It looks virtually new. Um, it doesn't look like it's ever carried anything in the back. Kind of suggests that this has been used as a car, maybe up and down the motorway, hence the mileage. Down the driver's side, Tail lights in nice clean condition, it's free from any damage, there's no misting, there's no cracks, everything looks nice and clean and it's intact. Rear quarter, and again it's in fantastic condition. Um, no nasty marks or dents, everything looks really nice and clean, the paint's in fantastic condition. Um, this side is the Ad Blue. obviously it's a ULES vehicle or ultra low emission zone compliant. So, um, driver's side rear wheel and tyre wheels in great condition, there's no damage. It's a matching Xeon 4X tyre with matching tread depth, as you can see. And again, under that chassis, it's all nice and clean and there's no obvious damage. Right, so round the rear window is in nice clean condition. I've just noticed there's a little tiny mark just here. Again, it appears, as it appears to have had a a canopy, let's just rubbed it slightly. It's nothing, but it's there. I'd rather show it you. Let's do the pillars first. Pillars in great condition, no damage. It's a slight mark there. It's nothing really, but it's there. On the roof, passenger side, driver side, sorry, it's nice and clean. No damage, no dints, no marks. Everything's nice and clean. So, driver side. Uh, again, no misalignment of gaps, everything looks nice and clean, no mismatch of paint, everything looks great. So let's go down the driver's side. As you can see, side steps in good condition. Um, and there's no nasty marks or dents on the paint. Everything looks really nice and clean. It's superb actually, to be fair. Mirror back, clean, no damage, mirror's intact. Driver's side front wing. And again, it's in fantastic condition. So, um, driver's side front wheel and tyre. Wheel's in good condition. It's a matching tyre, so it's a full set of Cooper Xeon 4Xs all round. Matching tread depth. Basically like new, so you've got a full set of Coopers all round. They've all got matching tread depth and they're all in great condition. Right, onto the interior. 
Vehicles keyless entry, keyless go. So as long as you've got your key in your pocket, in your wallet, in your purse, then it will open and it will also start. Just being noticed, I've just there's a tiny little mark just there, stone chip. Driver side door cards in nice clean condition. It's free from any damage. It's all very nice and clean. On your armrest, you've got your electric windows times four, your window lock, your door lock, electric folding mirrors, and also your mirror control from there. Driver's seat is fully electric. That's full control and manoeuvrability, and it works perfectly, as you can see. Also, if you watch this part, you can use this button here, and then that will pump that up, and that will give you a decent level of comfort for your back. If you have some people that suffer with bad back or sciatica, it really can help. It's got Navara over mats all round. All the carpets are in nice clean condition. That's a little bit warm, but then again, it's done its mileage, hasn't it? At the end of the day, it's done its job and looked after the carpet. But yeah, everything's nice and clean in there. So, driver's seat, bolster's nice and firm. Material, as you can see, is really nice and clean. And it's in great condition, comfortable seat as well, to be fair. Let me just put my phone in my pocket. Jump in. Uh, passenger seat. Bolster's nice and firm, material's nice and clean. Oh, you have to excuse me, sorry. Sorry about that. So, yeah, passenger seat, again, really nice and clean, no damage. Everything's really nice and clean on there. Um, dashboard, as you can see, is in fantastic condition. Again, no nasty marks, no nasty dents, nothing horrible on it at all. Everything looks really nice and clean. Steering wheel is very clean. It's free from any damage. There's no uh, fading. There's no stitches out of place. Everything looks good. Two keys, key fobs, whatever you want to call them. Two proper Nissan keys anyway. So let's start it up. Obviously to start, it's just a matter of putting your foot on the brake, pressing the stop start button. Pre-eats, start straight away, no issues at all. Everything's all good. <coughs> so, um, Steering wheel controls, right hand side is your cruise control, lower part is uh, your telephone and also your voice command. And that'll be the next part, obviously you can hear the stereo works perfectly, there's no distortion of speakers. Um, left hand side basically is your media centre and also your control for uh, the uh, binnacle basically. And you can go through, um, there we go, so you've got low fuel, um, average is 34.7 miles per gallon at the minute comes down to the person that drives it but I mean Nissan say it'll do over 40 so it's always worth looking at that <clears throat> so you can see you've got your um, heart you can change the stations from here as well um, you've got your driving aids all set up yeah everything works perfectly <clears throat> obviously you've got your uh, volume control from here and as you can hear that sounds perfect there's no issues on that at all the speakers work really well it's a good system in here as well um tell you what let's just put the air conditioning on while i'm sat in here it's quite warm today so it might feel like it's beneficial um, click on mode that's up there switch the vents on well, I can tell you that the air conditioning definitely works. It's nice and cold. It kicks in straight away, so that's quite good. <coughs> um, also worth noting, uh, no warning lights on the dashboard, apart from obviously the fuel's quite low, handbrake's on, and um, I'm not wearing my seatbelt. So, um, media centre, start with the reversing camera. You see you've got your 360 degree view to your left, and then also your reverse image to the right. Perfect for you, obviously, you're looking up your tow bar, trailer, whatever. It's also worth mentioning, if you click on camera, it'll then give you the left hand view. So obviously, if you're on your own, you can't see down there. Uh, when you're on your own, I, quite, I, think that, I think that's probably better than actually with a 360 image, if I'm honest. Obviously, each to their own, see what you like about it. Um, back in the media centre, if you click on uh, there, and then you click on camera, click on drive, and then it'll give you the forward-facing image as well, as you can see. Radio. Media center, it's got AM, FM, um, AM, FM, DAB, and obviously we've got pre populated DAB radio station list as well. Where you are, 
CD player, auxiliary, it's got an SD card slot, your map's on there, but you can put music on there as well. Um, so also if you click on info, you've got my applications, you can put Facebook, Google and lots of other things on there, Waze, etc. Nice system, works really well. Um, navigation, as you can see, it's a decent size screen and it works perfectly. Um, let's see, what's this? switch that off. Um, switchable four-wheel drive, hill descent, and also you can lock and unlock the vehicle from here. It's got USB down here and auxiliary as well, so you can plug your phone in and charge it up and also get your functionality through your phone as well. <coughs> Seven-speed automatic gearbox. As I said before, about 40 to a gallon. It's going to depend on you though. Um, heated seats in the front, let's try them while I'm here. Armrest, as you can see, it's nice and clean. It's free from damage. Everything looks good. Roof lining is clean. All the lights and everything work. So that's all good. Um, smells wise, well, doesn't smell of anything. It's dust neutral. So it doesn't smell like it's ever been smoked in or anything like that. Seats in the back are all good. Everything's nice and clean. As it's got the Navara overmats all round. We'll have a quick look in the carpets in a second. But yeah, everything's all good. Everything's nice and clean. Smells nice. What more can you ask for? Bargain in the century. Switch that off. Let's have a good look in the back. I actually said then, I didn't see that. It said the best miles per gallon is 44.6. So obviously um, it was 34.7 before. And they're saying that the best miles per gallon achieved in the vehicle's life is 44.7, so it's really good. So, rear door card, again, nice and clean, free from any damage. As you can see, the seats in the back are in exceptionally clean condition. To be honest with you, the bolsters feel like brand new. Um, obviously, as you get used, you sit in them, they do wear down. Those bolsters feel like new to me. You lift the seats up and you can pin that back. And underneath there... You've got all your tools and everything. Everything's intact and everything's there as you would expect it to be. Overmats in the rear. Carpet's nice and clean, as you can see. And everything's all good. <coughs> Tell you what, while we're in the front, let's just pop the bonnet. It's also worth mentioning, if this one's not for you, we do specialise in pickup trucks. Uh, we always have plenty on site. There's always new ones arriving all the time. So if, you, uh, if you're if you looking for something specific that's not this, please just give us a shout and ask. I'm sure that we've got something to suit. So, um, passenger side door card. Again, lovely and clean. No damage, no shocks really, to be fair. Uh, all the mats are in great condition. All the carpets are clean. Everything's spot on. Door cards in the rear, again, nice and clean. Being really critical, there's a couple of tiny little marks. Don't know what that's from. Maybe somebody put something in the back or something and it just caught it slightly. Uh, again, mats clean, carpet's clean. Everything looks all good. It's worth mentioning that the vehicle has got full service history. Um, all the books are intact. Obviously, it's got the locking wheel nut. Everything's there that you would expect to find from new. Let's have a quick look under the bonnet. <clears throat> so under the bonnet again you can see everything's nice and clean obviously it's got full service history it's got four services in the back in the book it's been taken care of um really very well as you can tell um being critical it's a bit dirty but i'd rather see it a little bit dirty than clean as you can see um so Around the turbo unit, no signs of any oily residue. Around the engine block, there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Everything looks really nice and clean. Belts are in fantastic condition. Another thing to mention is all the fluids are clean and to the correct levels. As you can see, genuine Nissan battery, always nice to see. Obviously, this one's just outside of the manufacturer's warranty. But whilst in it, they would have changed anything and everything uh, any problems obviously it's always worth mentioning that it's just done up to 100,000 miles so it's just outside of its manufacturer's warranty now but obviously up until that point it will have had absolutely anything it needed right so let's have a quick look underneath so again you can see there's no signs of any historic oil leaks under the engine everything's nice and dry and clean the chassis is in fantastic condition as you can see everything's really nice and clean as is the exhaust rear diff is i can't quite see from there 
So I'll have a look, have a look, quick look underneath. It's nice and clean and it's dry. There's no signs of any oil residue on it. <coughs> so obviously all the seals are intact and everything's nice and working on there. Spare wheel is uh, steel and it's got a brand new Continental tyre on it. Okie okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here today with me in person. It's also worth mentioning, obviously, like I said before, if you think I've missed something or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask. It's not a problem. It's also worth mentioning that uh, if you do like the truck, have a look on our Facebook page. You'll find pictures on there of this truck that you won't find anywhere else. For the moment, though, thanks for watching and sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.